Hello and welcome to day four of the Festival of Innovations at Rashpati Bhavan. The Festival of Innovation started with the inauguration of an innovation exhibition. There have been a series of events, including roundtable discussions. We show you the highlights and bring it through discussion with senior officers of Rashpati Bhavan. We look forward to your feedback. This is the fourth day of the roundtable and we have had an excellent discussion of the National Innovation Clubs, representatives from all over the country who have gathered here, who have made presentations on what they are doing, and we had some experts speak to them. Would you like to share your impressions? Yeah, it was really fascinating to listen to these four IITs which made the presentations. They're doing such brilliant work, brilliant work and uh, kind of uh, technologies that they're working on are absolutely the, the which are the latest ones. Uh, but more interesting was those two universities. These two universities which have set up the innovation clubs recently. One is Jammu University, Central University, and Jamia Millia Islamia. I mean, it was uh, remarkable the amount of ground they have covered in just two years. And they're already filing for patents. They are already uh, commercializing some of the new technologies that the boys and girls in these institutions have uh, discovered. And then, of course, the two entrepreneurs who were with us, who spoke. Uh, who spoke. I like that line, uh, we should have take panga and not <laughs> just do dhanda. dhanda. Uh -huh. Yes, that changeover from dhanda to panga, panga, as was explained by Sharad Sharma of uh, Brand Sigma. And uh, the journey that uh, was described by Vishal Gondal uh, of um, Goki. Goki. Goki started with no, games. Him, games, and, and now he has gone to wellness and how he it is disrupt the health and sector. sector. And also karma. Help people to earn karma, karma points. points. I thought that was and also quite they an innovation. Collect money for charity in the process. People become healthier. At the same time, they contribute to different charities. Several uh, fruit. Full, uh, results of, no, of this is an ideal combination of creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship. These three things are coming together when we look at these new uh, ventures, which are and becoming successful. It, 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 it is so heartening that this movement has been started by the president through his visits to various universities where he has called upon them to set up national innovation clubs. And Sharad Sarma said, we need building blocks on which innovation can happen. And these national innovation clubs are one of the most important building blocks for which we should give credit really to the president. igniting the minds. And uh, it was very interesting uh, day before yesterday when um, an engineer, electrical engineer, make a social innovation and use the power of the consumer to address a very difficult problem of You're child talking trafficking. About Kaila and then address. he becomes a Nobel uh, Peace Prize winner. Uh, and what did he do? He was locked up by the police uh, one night for um, uh, his attempt to rescue some children. And the whole night he was thinking uh, how helpless he felt. But by morning he came up with the solution and which resulted in the rug mark. Uh, that is to have a worldwide uh, strategy against child uh, labor. Ragmak is, is a great social innovation, one of its kind in the world, yes. where you have voluntarily, carpet makers voluntarily put a label yes. saying that this carpet has not had any child labor input into it. And consumers in different parts, both yes. in India and the world, decide to buy only carpets with Ragmak. So, so you create social pressure to end a problem like yeah. child labor. So he used the power of the consumer to address a problem which he felt quite helpless addressing. That was really brilliant. I, th I thought it was wonderful yes. the way Nobel laureate Kaila Satyati Shared. brought his work into the framework of innovation. And the second thing he said was also in, uh, very interesting. We all know about Padayatra, the great Dandi March of Mahatma Gandhi. And he organized a million children march to the United Nations in Geneva to call for an abolition of child labor. Yes. So you can have these mass mobilization exercises to address a social problem. Yes. And that is also an innovative way of tackling the problem. Yeah. One of the things that uh, really impressed me was the fact that India has been commended uh, for its leadership in um, grassroot level innovation. And uh, I think this is uh, an area which we can really focus on when we are, because I saw uh, there were participants from uh, almost 15 uh, countries. They were all developing countries. And of course, we had Israel, which is an, another leader in innovation. But I feel that now uh, this must come as a very um, important um, agenda item 
in uh, multilateral meetings like um, SARC, ASEAN, BRICS, where we, um, we enter into inter international collaborations, we focus on themes which are relevant to developing countries. Because I saw the participants here looking at the areas where we've had success, looking at our models, and uh, many of the participants um, uh, said that India uh, has it all there. I mean, we've, we've got the right mind uh, for this. And uh, yeah, the, so the, the Global Roundtable was very comprehensive. It covered a number of subjects. It covered skill development, it covered education, it covered science and technology. It not just looked at the issues of grassroots entrepreneurs, but also looked at public service delivery. How does the government deliver to the people and what innovations can be had in that. Yesterday we had a series of district collectors, elected heads of panchayats talk about the experiments they are making and the younger generation is doing such wonderful work. They are using technology to reach out to the masses and to change the models in which we de de deliver development to the people and I think it was a very inspiring session which we had yesterday. And as some of the participants were saying today that we are on the cusp of our innovation revolution. It is now, uh, it's now a definite possibility that we'll see a movement towards creativity and innovation. And that will be a great tribute to the president's efforts for the last three years in uh, trying to bring center stage the concept of innovation, research, and uh, improving the quality of education. And the contribution it can make to the overall, overall economic growth economic in the country. Economic growth and pushing India to the level of uh, leading, leading and uh, developed nations.